Hi, these comments are for AA. This is Michael. Thank you for completing this writing practice test. I do evaluate one of your writing practice tests for free, and that's exactly what I'm going to do right now. Now, remember, if you like my feedback and you want to get, you want me to continue to support you with your TOEFL preparation or your academic English language preparation, you can go over to bettertoeflscores.com. You can see the link here. And then uh, go where it says the, the TOEFL Speaking and Writing Feedback Service. You can learn more about this. And you can begin sending me speaking and writing practice immediately. Right? I have the independent uh, writing rubrics here. And then I have what you wrote over here. So I've already kind of highlighted a few things I want to talk about. So it says, do you agree or disagree with the following statement? Is more interesting to read a good book or see a good movie the second time than the first? Use specific reasons and examples to support your answer. That's the question you're answering, right? Okay, let me delete this now. And uh, it looks like you've written 452 words. You chose to use two different body paragraphs to answer this question. That's actually a pretty good strategy. Now let's take a look at what Microsoft Word thinks about it. So you have an editor score of 81. That's not that good. You want to be really between 90 and 100. So you do have a lot of grammatical errors in the writing. Uh, the document stats are actually better. I'll tell you why. Watch this. So according to Microsoft, your average number of words per sentence is 25.9. That's actually strong. Your characters per word is 4.9, almost 5. So you have pretty good control over your vocabulary and your sentence structure. Your grade level here is 12.7. So I think E-Rater, except, except for the grammatical issues you're having, I think E-Rater would like the word choice and the grammar you're using to explain your ideas. Now let's take a look at it. In the introduction here you have uh, 100 words. That's actually pretty strong. Uh, the first problem is this thesis. Personally I will vote for the lateral due to several reasons. I will explore in the following paragraphs. That particular thesis I have seen. I have read it many times and it doesn't really frame your response very well. Now, if you go to the thesis in the third paragraph, you see, in addition, unprecedented movies and books are more likely to satisfy our curiosity. Well, how does that relate back to whether you want to watch a movie once or twice? Do you think it's better to watch it a second time or not? So it, it isn't clear how that idea connects back to the uh, purpose of the writing. So you need to have a more clearly marked topic sentence there. Now, in this paragraph, what I highlighted here, this, is, this gets into the grammar problems you're having. So watch this. Had I read another novel and suffice with what I'd gotten from the first time. And if I maybe had been I'm going to put satisfied with what I had gotten from the first read I would have taken my precious time and would have gotten along I don't, wouldn't have gotten along current book sooner I would have maybe would have read current book sooner so you can see the example there is I like how you said had I which is you deleted if 
which is a conditional clause, and you use a subject verb inversion to kind of explain your ideas, but you just didn't control your, uh, you're using, you need here what's called the, the past perfect verb tense to talk about a past impossible condition. So had I read another novel, and if I had been satisfied with what I had gotten from the first read, maybe put a comma here, I would have taken more advantages of my precious time and would have read current books sooner. So you have to change it and change the verb tenses to create the implied reality that you're trying to capture or convey to your audience here, and you weren't able to do that very well. Uh, I'll just show you one more thing. Notice the verb tense shifts that you have. Both groups were asked to solve. You want to put a variety of problems that you want to put that demanded creativity and innovation. Notice how you said were asked, so you need to change this verb into the past tense. I noticed you're having quite a few problems differentiating between the present and the past verb tenses as I went through this essay. Right? You did give some examples in there, but I think this third paragraph could have been better connected. It, it needed to more clearly address the purpose of the writing. It needed more unity as it relates to the topic that you were trying to write about there. Uh, okay, so what is your actual score here? So you need a little bit more specific thesis. Uh, you need to, to eliminate a lot of these sentence structure and word choice and grammar errors that you're having, right? Um, let me go over here and take a look. I'm thinking probably between 2.5 and 3 here. Let me look at 3. Addresses a topic using somewhat developed, though connection of ideas may be occasionally obscure, may demonstrate inconsistent facility. Um, I'll give you a three. I'm going to put you at uh, maybe 19 to 20 points out of 30 on this particular writing practice test, okay? So I think for you to get better and to improve your writing, you're going to have to do better with your, uh, I think, grammar, your sentence structure, verb tenses, word choice, and all of those things. I think that's going to help you, and you need a little bit better organization of ideas.